That's the Battle of Calpin standing at the Americans' first line of defense. Now, General Morgan, commanding the American Army, had devised a plan of defense in depth of three lines. This, the first line, was made up of skirmishers, and their job was to fire at least two shots, bring down as many British as possible, especially in the officer's corps. The idea was not only to cause heavy damage to the British regulars, but to cause confusion and disrupt any order to the British units by taking out the officers. After doing their job here, they fell back to the American second line. They joined the second line, which was militia back at that point, and once again, they repeated the firing as many shots as possible to hold up the British, take out as many soldiers as possible, and more officers. So at that point, they all re retreated back to the American third line, which was American regulars. While they were retreating, British cavalry came out over here and attacked the Americans as they were retreating, threatening to destroy that part of the American army. However, American cavalry had been posted in the woods back here, came up and took the British in flank and drove the Br British in and threatened to uh, encircle the British. At the same time, American cavalry was coming in on the other side of the battlefield doing the same thing. And the British didn't realize that they were walking into a trap. Now, when the British got to the American third line, the orders on the right flank of the American army was to recuse the line, but instead they retreated. And as they were retreating, the British thought they had another battle of Camden on their hands and the Americans were running away. But if the Americans got to the top of the hill, they turned and fired point blank into the British, causing hundreds of casualties. At, this, at the same time, the American cavalry over here and over here was encircling the British and they had another Kane. And the British army was completely defeated here and over 90% of the British army became casualties. Over 600, 600 of them were taken prisoner. This might be the most complete American victory tactically of any uh, battle in America's history. The Battle of Calpens.